the goddamn car dealership with my nah, brothers nah. right now shooting videos, fucking around. My brother's supposed to get the The bins getting wild. Shooting video. We got way more money than you niggas. I don't know what you boys thought. I don't know who you thought. I don't know how many YouTube views you think you got, but you better check my numbers, man. I don't know who this man talking about, boy. I am Quavo and QCP. I am Rick Ross and Meek Mill. I am Birdman and Lil I am the big dog, boy. Millions, but fuck all that. So good to the video. My nigga Train Villa finna punch some shit down. Hey, man, I'm really squabber. I ain't no rapper. I don't care about no celebrity status. I don't care about no fame. I don't care about no fortune. Baby, I don't care about respect. You probably nigga with 700,000 followers with no muscles, bro. This weak than a bitch. Yeah, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. We gonna punch it down. You have to call out right now, follow Really punch a nigga down. Ready to punch something down right now. Can't stop business. Love. The right way. Business, you know, the way. Hey, bring your mama so I can break her for OnlyFans. Tell her bring that nice breaker bag you bought or whatever with the fake ass followers that you bought and your fake ass views that you bought. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politics TV. Had to come tap in real quick, man, on Sauce Walker and Jake Paul. Basically having a back and forth today about this boxing match. Now, if you don't know about this boxing match, Sauce Walker actually went to Instagram the other day and called out all the rappers he got smoke, smoke with. But he specifically spoke of Young Thug and Jake Paul. Now, Young Thug responded with basically, hey, man, you know, use that money that you're trying to bet against me in a boxing match to build your label up. You know, he took that route. Oh, I spend that much of money on groceries, nigga. Well, Jake Paul actually came back and responded. You know what I'm saying? Saying we'll match that sauce. We can do it. But Sauce is talking big shit. Sauce is raising the stakes up. He talking this. And basically, they done got into a back and forth over the shit now. You know what I'm saying? At first, Jake Paul was like, hey, I'll spar you in the backyard for the 20K. You know what I'm saying? I'll put up 30. You put up 20. I'm a flight. Book you and you. I'll book the flights out so y'all could come out. Y'all fight me and my guy, da -da -da, me and the bro. We get into it. But Sauce was like, hold on. Yeah, like any nigga would be, especially a nigga like Sauce, who independent, got a lot of pride, stand on his morals. Hey, nigga, hold on. You trying to little me, man me here, uh, Jake Paul. You trying to make me seem like I'm smaller than you and I'm not a factor in the game. And if you know Sauce, you know Sauce is going to stand on what the fuck he believe in at all times. So Sauce was just like, hey, nigga, uh, Let's be clear here, nigga. I'm my own record label owner. I'm my own brand, my own team, my own everything. Said the nigga got fake views, fake followers, all that type of shit like that. But Jake, uh, Jake Paul's making the point that, hey, this is Jake Paul's stance on it, nigga. You not big enough for pay-per-view. Let's cut it out. You trying to do this and that. Then he brought up Sauce Walker Spotify numbers and things of that nature. So they just kind of going back and forth at each other. Really making it more entertaining, if you ask me. And this is what this sport is about. Sauce didn't even went to the point talking about bring your mama to the fight. And we'll put it on OnlyFans and other things like that. They taking shots at each other. And, and, and this shit is funny. And I don't know. It's crazy, motherfucker. Jake Paul taking shots at Sauce. They taking them back and forth. We just got to wait and see what happens now. Hopefully they can get it locked. Then Sauce trying to push to have it out here in H Town at the arena, but you know it'll probably be better to have it out there in California. You know that's where the more media is at, more people to come. Uh, as far as it probably having to be an event at this point in time, bro, it, it don't even look like the shit can happen because you can't have an event nowhere. But they could probably have it in a seclude a secluded gym with not so many people there. But man, tell me, would y'all want to see this, man? I'm looking at this as entertainment. Two big popping people on in the uh, media game right now. Sauce being a rapper that is uh, shoots a lot of videos on World Star, shoots a lot of videos. Period on his own UTSF YouTube channel, and, and you know we all know Jake Paul is one of the popular YouTubers in the world today. Got a lot of people following him. Been working heavy on that boxing shit lately. So y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Who y'all think will win this boxing match? And the fact that Sauce Walker actually got Jake Paul or respond that says volumes that speaks volumes that says numbers like hey when they responded to you that mean you a factor tell me what y'all think man i don't think this is nothing real serious like that but subscribe to the channel urban politics tv man 1000